you clicked on this video to see some dope neon lights. These are the YouTube and Twitch neon lights from FanFit Gaming. You can get them on Etsy or on their personal website. Okay, so to actually power these, you're just using some USB-A uh, cords, plugs into the base of each one, and it's just a circle connector, kind of looking like a laptop DC connector. So you plug that in to both of them, and then with each one, it kind of has a notch on one side. You can see that right there. And then there's a notch on the bottom or the back side of this. And you'll just pop it in, turn it on. And the only complaint that I have about the Twitch one is that it does look slightly pink. Um, on the video, it looks really white. I can turn the brightness down and y'all can kind of see more of the pink, maybe, maybe not. So that's the Twitch one. Uh, so they do have this black section right here going around and all the black section is just kind of painted so you can scratch it off you can see that right there I did do that uh, just kind of curious as to what would happen if I scratched it off and then we've got the YouTube one line up the notch again drop that in and turn it on my only complaint about the YouTube one got a little glare my only complaint about the YouTube one is that um, I don't know when I first got it it seemed like the connectors weren't really touching very well get that out of my face um, it seems like the connectors weren't touching very well so I just had to push it down every time I turned it on I turn it on and it would only light up like half of the red and then not even the white part so then if I push it down it would do it which I mean you can kind of see it flicker a little bit right there when it's loose when you push it down it's no problem and you can I'll turn this light down a little bit so you can see that it's actually glowing Right there the only problem that I had with these lights was that they are so fragile that it took three shipments to get me one that didn't break and it had nothing to do with how fanfic gaming was actually boxing them up they had them bubble wrapped and inside a box inside of another box and that was bubble wrapped inside and there was styrofoam cut exactly to where this was supposed to lay so fanfic gaming did everything they could to prevent it being broken i think it was just the laziness of my mailman in my area so i'll kind of walk out through what i had to go through to actually get that um this is my only complaint for these okay so you can see right here that this is actually uh fanfic gaming's site uh, you can actually order these on Etsy too I'll take you all to that page too but they've got a lot of cool gifts on here mostly surrounding neon lights uh, they do have a couple other things on here they are surrounding games but we're gonna go to the neon lights and so you can see there's just a ton of different options that you can choose a discord one you got GG and this is gonna be the actual twitch neon light and so you can go through these pictures real quick And you can see, like, this is how they box it up. Like, you, it's kind of hard to tell, but they cut a piece of styrofoam to fit the glass exactly. So there's no reason that it should have broke other than the fact that my mailman was a little lazy with it. But um, you can see in this, it's kind of a little more purple than what it shows up on video. I'm sure they edited this picture a little bit just to kind of make it show up that way. Right now on the site, it is $67.99. I don't know what the shipping is on that. We got the YouTube neon light right here as well. This one's a little bit cheaper, $65.99. And you can go through the pictures on here. Got it lined up with the YouTube logo. Um, my box looked a lot cooler than these. It was like a retro neon. Some of the uh, Twitch streams kind of set up like it. I'll throw up a picture, but it just kind of looked like that. Uh, not that the box is that important, but it looked a lot cooler than that. Uh, you can also tell that the base on this one's a little bit different. So this one has four layers and the one that we're looking at right now just kind of has like two and a little angled lip. Not really sure what that's about or if they just updated and I got an updated design because that box looks a little old. So I'm assuming these pictures are from the first go around. Okay, so on their actual website, it says order ship in one to two business days, 100% back money back guarantee, which when mine shipped and I got Two different shipments broken um he said we can send you out another one or we can give you your money back i said i really want one so go ahead and send out another one so right now if you wanted both of these it's 133.98 and free shipping let's go ahead and open up their etsy page so we can go to neon lights they already have everything 
basically categorized the same way as their actual site, but you can see right here the neon light on Etsy is a hundred dollars. So right now the better option would be to go with their actual site, which they probably have to pay a cut to Etsy anyway, so I would do that. Um, I ordered mine on Etsy because I didn't even know that it was like an actual website. I thought somebody was just kind of doing this on the side and I was like, yo, that's kind of dope. So, and then the Twitch Neon Light is also $99.49. So if we added both of these to the cart from Etsy, it comes to $200 versus $133.98 on their actual site. So I would buy from their site. Okay, and so what we're looking at right here is my actual conversation with the person from Fanpick Gaming. I just said, my Neon Light arrived broken. I'd like to be sent a replacement rather than a refund if possible. And I sent kind of some pictures. It's just kind of broken on one joint, which like I said, it was probably the mailman's fault. Bummer, sorry to see that. Thanks for the photos. I'll have a replacement sent out to you. Thanks, the YouTube one looks great. I hate to do this again, so let's see. This is four days later, which isn't bad for shipping uh, for a free product to get replaced. Um, I hate to do this again, but the second one has arrived broken too. And almost the same place, just a different joint actually. So this one's broken right there. So the one's broken on the other spot. Oh no, we apologize for the inconvenience. Thanks for sharing the pictures. I'm sending you a replacement today. Plus I'm adding a 30% off discount code for your next purchase. It expires July 1st, sorry for the issues. So if anybody wants to use that discount code 30% off for watching this video, you might be able to use that on Etsy or their website. So basically right here he's saying that yes, he did um, contact USPS already and went through with the insurance claim and I should be getting something in the mail, which I did. I got a paper in the mail saying that this product was delivered damage. I have to take it up to a USPS to get um, the refund for him to get that back into his account to pay whatever insurance. And he provided me a copy with that, basically just saying, can't show that, it had my address, <laughs> doxed. Um, but basically just saying that it's broken and he asked me he said like if it's no problem to you could you go up there and explain to them this is broken and take it up there so i got it to the post office and he said awesome thanks for that which like i said he packaged that perfectly there's no way more that he could i mean you could bubble wrap it and put it in another box and bubble wrap and put it in another box but that's just getting out of hand like the post office should be a little bit more considerate of that so since he did give me a I guess two free lights um, and they were broken. I will leave him a review for the great customer service. Okay, so I said these lights are amazing for anyone that's looking for a great streamer background light. The customer service from FanFit was amazing. Can't recommend them enough. The purple from the Twitch neon light is a little hard to capture on camera, which you can tell kind of looks pink. I said that it's a pretty light colored purple in person. Even still, I just imagine that like FanFit did everything that they could to capture a darker purple. It's just not possible through a neon light. So no complaint there. I'm not gonna drop a star for that. Okay, for the neon light, I basically said the same thing at the front. And then I said the only minor complaint is that during the first week or so, when I turned the light on, it seemed to not fully illuminate. And so I would have to push the base of it down a little bit and then it would fully illuminate, which that only lasted about a week. So it's not that big of a deal. And I said, after that first week, I haven't had any problems since. So five stars for both lights. Okay. So I just finished posting a review on their website as well, just cause I know like when I'm buying something on Amazon, I look at the reviews and like see which ones are look legit. So I made it kind of seemed like it was legit i mean it is legit i gave my honest opinion gave some i gave like one negative point for each of them the twitch is kind of pink and then the youtube one didn't work very well so no problem there but okay so that is the twitch and youtube neon lights i'll put a link down in the description to the etsy page and to the website so y'all check those out if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe and be watching for more i've got a couple more things coming out i know y'all saw the controller holders back here on my shelf so i'm gonna do those next and i'll kind of break those down a little bit more uh but here's some more b-roll i guess